a great wizard. It couldn't get more simple than this. I want to give you all a little treat, a free tool that'll get you all prepared for the upcoming season. Rather than take all your music and hope for the best, let's have a strategy. Let's build a structure. Let's build new crates. Now, I don't know about you, but it's around this time every year that I go and look at my playlists. And you can see I have a lot of stuff I just don't need, perhaps. Maybe it's time to rethink this whole tree structure. Now, this is scary for a lot of you. And I'm going to tell you right now, don't blow up anything unless you are really feeling adventurous. But the most important rule before we begin with any of this is back it up. Back, I don't care how you back it up. Just get it backed up. Put it onto a USB hard drive. Put it into a cloud storage. Uh, throw it into a safe and bury it in a tin can underneath the dirt. I don't care. Just get it backed up. And then let's start building out this new folder structure. And, uh, you know, I've got kind of a loose framework here. I've got my country and I've got my decades and disco funk, which is fine. It got me through last season, but I feel like I can do a little bit better. And my guess is you probably do too. In fact, I'm willing to bet you after a year of doing a whole bunch of weddings and gigs, you probably have these uh, playlists that say, you know, Cindy and John's wedding or um, Super Bowl tailgate party from 2024. There's probably so many uh, playlists. We sometimes say the playlists are now the new MP3s. You, you think about it, we used to go and amass all of our library uh, of songs, but now songs are being replaced by playlists. We're, we're on a goal to try and get as many as we can. And even that could be overwhelming. So you're not just scrolling through a long list of songs. You're now scrolling through, um, you know, a tree of playlists, sometimes with over, you know, a hundred songs. So you really get lost in the weeds here. So what do you do? And I, I want to let you know, this is not just for record box. That's my preference of software, but this works for virtual DJ. This works for Serato. This works for Algorithm. This is any DJ software or music platform that has a folder structure, a tree structure. And um, we're going to begin with sending you to this website. I'm going to put the link in the comments. And we're going to go to the Crate Wizard. It couldn't get more simple than this. Let me walk you through how I would set up my crate. Okay, quick start. Answer six questions. Get your folder tree. What type of DJ am I um, personally? Lately, I'm club and bar. And the software I use is Rekordbox. You can kind of see how it's guiding you, trying to figure out what your uh, preferences are. I have a cloud backup, and my library is under 5,000 tracks. How much do you tag your files? You know, I'm, I'm really heavy. I tag all my files. I go pretty deep with it. Do I want speed? Do I want to find tracks fast with minimal folders? Do I want to have every track with a home with precision? Do I want to work every time with a backup first? Or do I want to collaborate and share with others easily? So I think I want to go with portability. Works anywhere and everywhere. My goal this year is to really try and learn Serato and maybe have a backup of virtual DJ and not be so reliant on Alpha Theta and Pioneer products. Just a few more questions here. We're almost finished. It'll ask if you have any era or decades folders. I actually do, yeah. Um, don't necessarily need clean edits for me personally, but I do use a lot of DJ tools. And then I don't need a floor saver. So let's generate my folder structure. I'm really excited for this. All right, cool. Here it is, a simple folder structure. You can receive a pro folder structure, which gives you a little bit more of a breakdown, like those tools and the acapella intro folders and it's just a little bit more detailed. And now at touring gives you backups and your current set at the top, which is really nice. So you can see how this Crate Wizard can help you for the upcoming year. And the Crate Wizard guides you along the way on your backup plan. And once you decide that you like that particular folder structure, then it's yours to have. You can copy the folder tree, just make a notepad document of it. You can download the zip. I really like that because when you download it, it actually gives you physical folders to get to work immediately along with all the rules, cards, and so on. Pretty slick, right? I want to see what happens when you have a large folder of music. So heavy tags, heavy collection of music, and then you want precision. Okay, let's check all the boxes. I'm really curious to see how intense this folder looks. Generate the folder structure. Okay, now things start to 
build out a little further, you start to get some more vibe related crates. I personally love the emojis for quick reference. That's a nice touch. And again, depending on how you want to implement it, you can export it via TXT, a Mac script, Windows script, rules card, or share by a link, or even open up your Mac terminal and create the folders right alongside your DJ software. A couple of really big success tips before you start blowing out your crates on any DJ software. First, look at your history. Did you see anything that you loved playing that you simply can't lose? Well, again, make a backup. My mentor and YouTube star Jason Jana always told me that if you look at the past two years of your play history, that is your brand. That is the music you need to preserve. So if anything, before you blow it all up, back up at least two years, keep those tags, keep those cue points. And there's always that case where you might end up getting booked this weekend, last minute. You didn't think so. Your calendar was cleared, but suddenly you have a gig on the calendar. Well, my advice would be take out each crate that doesn't serve you and replace it with this folder structure one at a time. It depends on how gutsy you want to be and how risky you want to be with your library in the downtime, which could potentially end up being the prime time for you. Always have that library structure that you're used to having, but slowly start to integrate the new tree structure. I want to encourage you, head over to the Crate Wizard. The link is in the description. In just a few questions, you'll have your very own folder tree to get you set up for success in 2026.